up y'all this is really all back with another video yes uh and today we'll be discussing Giannis mvp case for this season now a lot of people just like lebron have their mind made up and you might be saying he is the guaranteed mvp for this 2020 season and i would not be mad at you because he is legitly deserving of the MVP. Just look at what he's doing and you would know casual, real-time fan, whatever, whatever your place is in the NBA as a fan, you would literally realize that game, that second, that he is a special player that can undoubtedly could win the MVP this season. And if he won it unanimously, we would not be mad because Giannis is that type of player and he is that type of hooper. So with me saying that, I have to bring up his stats. I have to bring up what he's doing in the NBA currently. And he's is averaging 30.2 points per game, 13.4 rebounds per game, 5.8 assists, and having the highest PER with 32.64. And you say, what's special about that? And I don't know why you would be asking that, but what's special is that he's second in points while being the fifth in rebounds while being 25th in assists, while still, like I said before, first in PER. That is impressive. That is great numbers, and what he's doing on his team is impressive. I mean, hey, the proof is in the pudding. His team is the number one best team in the NBA. Not just in his conference, but in the entire 30-team NBA. And you say, why do I emphasize that? that? I emphasize that because he is literally dogging anybody that comes forth in his way, let it be coming to Milwaukee or them coming to them. He doesn't care. He doesn't care if you're a star, a regular player, a bum, a non-hooper, a hooper. He does not care if you lace that jersey on and you put them shorts on and you put your tennis shoes on and you step forth on that court. You are a walking lick to him because he is going to prove to you why he is a MVP candidate. Furthermore, saying you have to tell the true story Giannis has literally improved in what we say he was not as great as, and that is three-point shooting. You say, why can I say that? I can say that because he's literally taking the shots, and he's hitting some threes, and it's making him even more dangerous as a scorer because, yes, we know he's going to attack the basket, but now we know if you leave him open, he will shoot that ball. And if he shoots that ball, it is crazy because now you have to actually guard him. And what that means is if you have to guard him on the perimeter, that means the rest of his team is better because now... You're going to try your best to trap him no matter what, but it's, un it's crazy to say that because no one has gotten the job done because Giannis is even literally single-handedly beat the Lakers. He single-handedly beat the Sixers. He is a monster. He can play any position that he wants to, whatever position he feels is right. He literally can play and guard anybody. On top of that, defensively, he is a monster. He is a monster offensively. No one would get past him on the defensive end. And if he is chasing you, hawking you, you might as well call it a GG because that is going to another city. You might be asking, why am I so excited to say this? I'm so excited because Giannis is a very incredible superstar that is getting his credit as it is deserved because he has been doing this for seasons now and Giannis is only getting better being only 25 years old which is even scarier because I don't know if he's hit his prime but if he hasn't hit his prime we are in trouble and the league is in trouble too because that means if he gets a star at any part of his career it might be over and for Milwaukee fans this might be something that's very ecstatic reason being is because if he stays in Milwaukee and you get him another star y'all might be witnessing an NBA champion in the making now I have to discuss something that's not included in this video not the same topic is that what I plan on doing amongst my channel y'all have probably been noticing I've been posting a lot but it's only because I've been thinking and considering how much I want to post each week 
And I thought about it because originally I said I would only post on Tuesdays and Fridays. And then I thought, you know, man, eh, you know, I don't like having those restrictions on myself. So what I will say is at the bare minimum, I will post two videos a week, which I think is acceptable. And I feel like I can really get my point across, especially the things that happens in the league. Now, yes, two is the minimum I will post. But the maximum of my posts is a question mark. So with that being said, if you liked today's video, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to hit that notification bell for more amazing content because we are on the grind, the official grind to 150 subscribers. And with y'all help, I know I can get there. So with that being said, ghosts.